My people, make una con use una two year to listen to this video. What is this? Our two brothers talk. Wala oh, not be smart thing, my people. So any country where we all go, nana, so they just they suffer us. We Nigerians, oh God, when we want to get better president, make una no say my mouth long past my nose, go reach my ear, make una listen, make una hear, wait till they talk for this video. When we want share this video, not be because of me, if we love each other, if we want to show our brothers, our sisters, when they say, he they said I say. In Ethiopia, just as this guy is narrating, but just watch him first, then I'll come back and tell you what happened to me. It happened in Ethiopia. Two days ago, somebody sent me a voice note. I didn't pay attention because I was very busy. And he kept on sending and calling. I had to pay attention. I had to listen. He said, brother, please help us. I said, what happened? He said, we are buying. We are going. We are in Ethiopian prison. He said, it's Kaliti prison. Maximum prison. Maximum security prison. In Ethiopia, Kaliti prison. Oh, this prison is filled up with more than 500 Africans. What is the problem? That most of them are people that are traveling. Ethiopia is like a country where people transit into other countries. Myself, I have passed through Ethiopia when going to Sichels, passed through Ethiopia when coming back to Nigeria. So I know that particular, it's a very, very big airport in Addis Ababa. I think it's Bole Airport, Bole Airport, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. That once you are passing through, once you have a green passport, you are like a suspect. And they will keep you aside. They will delay you and make you miss your flight get you angry and once you start agitating and agitating and agitating they will tell you well you need to pay five thousand dollars to get another flight again back to your country and when you don't have the money and you're agitating that they cost you to delay this flight they searched you they found nothing they delay you make you miss your flight and when you suck so much they will lead you out and say that you are a this and take you straight from that airport to the hospital they will say check you and if they can find nothing what do we do? They will put you to prison, from hospital to prison. And while in the prison there, they will come and serve you paper that you are going to serve 17, 18, 20 years in the prison, even without going to the courts. That is a very, very serious issue. Help me to share this video at this juncture, please. That is a very, very serious issue, such that in a lot of people have spied this year. I hope you know what is spied. They have spied this 2023. That in April, that a woman, a Nigerian, by what happened to her that the police was her and she sustained injury internal injury in her ribs they took her to the, a hospital and injected her and of course the injection didn't go well with her body and she went back to the prison fell ill again and she said no please don't take me to the hospital don't inject me that same thing you injected me before it's no good for my body and they forced her to the hospital forced her to inject her again and the next day she gave up the ghost and they took her straight she that she was there for days before they took her to the mortuary and other inmates female inmates had to search her brought out embassy details brought out phone numbers and started calling the embassy nigerian embassy in ethiopia addis ababa ethiopia the job of embassy is to protect the interest of citizens in the country that is the primary job of embassy but from what he said in it, it was a long conversation of more than two hours but i'm summarizing it that the embassy nigerian embassy to ethiopia is always support the ethiopian government and support the ethiopian police now even when you invite the police the, the the embassy the embassy representative they will come and i will get back to you that nothing is done that they are supporting them and this is very very wrong that just last week here a young man gave up the ghost what happened he contacted tuberculosis and this is a picture of a young man and when i saw this picture i told you that this that this airport looks like doha airport that i think i've crossed this airport before a very big yellow dollar at the back that this looks like doha airport in middle east he said yes that this young man was passing through stopped in addis ababa heading to nigeria they stopped him made him delay his flight made him get angry exchange was shoot him to prison and he contacted tuberculosis that that prison has more than 500 africans including sick and mad ethiopians the, how will you put sick people and healthy people in the same room and you know tuberculosis is an airborne disease that this young man contacted tuberculosis and that was how he gave up the ghost just last week here this young man in the screen here that they don't feed them that their food is one spoon of rice in the morning one spoon of rice in the afternoon one spoon of rice in the night without spices without sauce without spices without stew nothing just white rice that's what they're eating gross malnutrition in addis ababa ethiopia 
no medical care if you fall sick in that prison you have to go and work and raise money to treat yourself in that prison sometimes they will cut off the water supply for three weeks four weeks telling them that this is your punishment for being here what is really happening we need to stand up and fight this injustice in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Why we're talking of Mobad, Mobad is one individual. We're talking about over 200 people. They are there from different tribes of Nigeria, Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba, Edo, just mentioned a lot of people. And they're in that prison that the Nigerian embassy is not helping issues. And he's calling for our help. He told me to do this video. He begged me to help him do this video, to circulate this information, that they need the help of Nigerian governments in Ethiopia. Over 250 Nigerians are in that prison no food limited water no air no ventilation no medicals nothing and they didn't do anything they didn't go to the courts a law court to be sentenced for anything that is just victimization because they have a green passport they are appealing to the nigerian government to please come to their aid they are appealing he mentioned names of governors please come to their aid the house of reps please house of senate if there is a way that this can be pushed as a motion to the green chambers and to the red chambers this is very important we are the leaders of tomorrow nigeria should not play with its citizens and this young man is appealing for me to help him do this video so help me please by sharing this video help me tag the necessary agencies that are needed to sort out this issue more than 250 nigerians are in kilati prison maximum prison in addis ababa ethiopia and they were not convicted of anything that is the point assuming they are guilty of an offense we understand that people are buying every day of tuberculosis different diseases they've turned to nothing because they are nigerians and this is very 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 wrong please help me to share this video in my own capacity, I'm going to tag one or two people I know that might help. Ukulo Randibo, I think he will help. Anybody that can help to see what is really happening. Help me tag people. I can't know everybody. You know people. Help me tag people. Help me share this video. Human rights, the law, anything possible. Let us see how we can go to Ethiopia and how we can rescue these 250 Nigerians. They are my brothers and they are your brothers and they're from different parts of nigeria if you're hating justice why you are saying justice for mobad mobad is one man let us fight justice for people in kiata prison it's going to be an, a hashtag justice for people in kiata prison i will drop it under the comment section help me to share this video have a nice day god bless you only say you've been nigeria for tanzania you don't commit crime you know why they tell you that happened for tanzania so make you see how nigerians they suffer for all these countries even even ordinary african countries like us Okay, now, when are they come back from Tanzania? This guy come meet me. In fact, the guy, if you see the guy, he was looking so dirty, so smelly. Now, when the guy come meet me, he come to tell me, say, he needs some money so that when he arrive in Nigeria, and I, I come to look at him and say, this one, I want to enter flight. I come to ask the guy, say, wait, what happened? The guy, they talk to the, the guy come to tell me, say, he just they come out from prison to that airport. Now, on getting to the airport, they don't let him baffle. They don't let him baffle. They don't let him change any new clothes. Now, that same clothes, when he gets that time where they arrest him, now the guy where in fact the money where they take bail the guy now from nigeria they send the money come where they take bail the guy from tanzania now this guy just narrated for you now waiting happen for ethiopia the guy now so the guy can't enter plane as everybody come down when the guy was smelling okay when are they come back even? at the point of entry when are they come back are they for we there for queue like this they wait for passport checks okay they don't they check other people then they're like nine people in front of me now maybe like the tenth person do you know that this certain immigration officer walked from that place and came to me direct because I was holding my passport on my hand? So that's why I told you that that green passport is a crime. Now this guy walked up to me. What they asked me say, uh, make you see my passport. I just look at him and say, all these people here, you didn't collect their own. Why is it mine? Say, can I see your passport, please? I give him my passport. He carry and go inside their office. Go check waiting in check. Now I only am no waiting in check. I say the guy delayed there they, before you come out. Now like four people nine days my front. We were there ten before. I forgive him, I remember my passport. Okay, I'll give him my passport. And they ask and say, ah, this one we can't call him my passport. Hope there's no problem. He ignored me. If you see the way where this guy take it, ignore me. Like saying the vet say no find issue, any issue with my passport. Which is our leaders they do. Our ambassadors, please stand up to this. Ask the people living in these countries, how are you faring? What is your problem? The guy went in the port. We come from prison. They enter flight. When are they ask him? He said for their prison, for Tanzania. 80% of the, the prisoners in that place are Nigerian. 80% of them are Nigerians. So you can imagine. So as we talk about Ethiopia, let's also talk about Tanzania at the same time. As we push now, let's push and push more. Please, from here, send it to the next person and tell the person to